That's the whole point of this meeting. And so what I'd like to do is make sure that the doors of government are open to all the people of Multnomah County. This is one of the most important issues our community faces, which you've raised. And what we're going to do, if you'll permit, is honor Mr. Rascio, a hundred-year-old veteran. We'll start the program, and I'll be happy to recognize one of you very early on so you can be heard. These are important issues. They're important issues for the whole community. So please, if you would, we'd like you to be out in the audience. We'd like you to participate. And I can tell you the questions and the policies you're raising will be some of the most important priorities for me in this upcoming session. And that's the commitment. We'd also like to announce that my staff and I will be scheduling a meeting with the leadership of your groups. Tell us who you'd like us to meet with. We'll follow that up and start that right away. So let's start with the town meeting. Thank you. Okay, let's start with the meeting, folks. We'd like you to move to the side so we can recognize this veteran. Thanks, everybody. Okay, folks, town hall meeting number 712 is starting right now. And we're going to start it in a way that I think is very special to our state, and that's to honor one of our special veterans. In Oregon, every day is Veterans Day. And Today we're going to have a chance to honor Dario Rascio, who's a member of the greatest generation. He grew up here in Portland. He joined the Navy at the age of 27. He earned his Naval Aviator's Wings in 1942, shortly before marrying his sweetheart. And he was a plane pilot aboard the USS Chester and participated in five campaigns in the Pacific. After one especially harrowing mission, on Easter Sunday he crash landed in the Pacific and his plane began to capsize. He and his crewman, a photographer who had been surveying Japanese positions, prepared for the worst. But when they were rescued a few hours later by a Navy destroyer, his first reaction was real simple. He couldn't wait to tell our guys the location of an important ammunition dump where there was a threat to our soldiers. It was also learned then that the sharks had been circling him and his crewmen and they were pulled from the water. He also had an illustrious career here in Portland. He was a teacher and I'm not sure a lot of the young people remember this word, but he was a haberdasher, which means he was really, really stylish. And you can see that here again today. When Dario's daughter, Darylin, called us, we, and particularly the vets in our office, swung into action, and today we're going to have a chance to present Dario medals that are long, long overdue. Dario, we want you to accept these medals on behalf of a grateful state and a grateful nation. Nearly seven decades is a long, long time to wait, but every one of these medals has been earned. And I'll tell you folks, it is never too late for Oregon and America to remember one of our heroes. So please give Dario a big round of applause as we bring him forth. I can't hear you very well. I can't hear you very well. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Evan.
Give me a chance. Give me a chance. At least let's show a little respect uh, for this occasion. Now, I am accepting this on behalf of all of the people who died in World War II. They are the true heroes. And many times, as I look down on the invasions of these people going into those islands in the Pacific, I said to myself, man, they're not standing a chance. But they kept going. And they are the heroes of World War II. Here, here. I, I had a boyhood friend of mine. That's why I want to tell this story of a friend of mine that I grew up with in South Portland. And I don't know if there's anybody here who remembers